made it to Kentucky today. Got a stand hung on one of the farms and went and got a stand hung on a different farm. But man, I love Tanner to death, but he's rubbing off on me. I bought a new uh, camera arm. I didn't get the fluid head off my old camera arm back home. Had everything packed up, thought I had everything. Did all of my checks, left this morning. Just started checking some of my stuff and then it hit me. I didn't have a fluid head for my for my camera arm. So anyway, I got my wife, luckily, my beautiful, awesome wife, that's gonna meet me in Huntington. It's about, oh, not quite halfway. I gotta go a little further than halfway back home, but she's gonna meet me in Huntington. She's gonna bring me my other camera arm. That way I can take the fluid head off of it and actually be able to film my hunt because if not I was going to be uh, <laughs> I was going to be screwed it's got dress I'm going to grab my bow and stuff I'm getting the woods guys let's do a 2022 Kentucky baby it rained earlier it's super muggy I'm already sweating I'm going to have to take my time getting in here spray down again try to get up in this tree before the rain comes but we ain't got too far of a walk Now that I'm set up, it's pouring. I need a big poplar tree with a maple tree right beside it. And that maple tree is keeping all the rain off right now, so let's hope it wraps up. This is too, it's a lot of rain.
check the air out, but it don't look real good from here. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of blood. I think I probably got some gut. And hopefully I can hit that gut and he just goes and beds up. Oh, guys, it's the worst feeling in the world. Work so hard and then have your shot and don't make it count. I know that's bow hunting, but I work too hard to be messing up like that. Gosh, and I told myself when he came in to remember to pull this down. And sure enough, I didn't remember. And I was trying to fill my anchor point and get on him. And... <sighs> How long are you gonna wait? I don't know, how long should I wait? I'd wait, I, I'd wait till morning. The further back you hit that deer, the longer you need to wait. It's supposed to be a big chance of rain again tonight, brother. <clears throat> Usually on a gut shot, that doesn't matter that much if you got a dog. We need to decide if we get a dog or not. That's the thing. If I get a dog, I don't want to go in there at all until the dog comes because I don't want to walk around. Yeah. It's just sickening. And I've done it, I want to say, three or four times in my entire life. And it never gets any easier. It never gets any better. I could have shot my bow more this summer. I could have done a lot of things now that I'm thinking about it. And all I really did was run cameras and scout and feed and move cameras and scout and go feed some more and just spend a lot of time trying to locate deer. And I probably should have spent a lot more time on myself mentally being prepared for when this big deer comes in. Got a tracker on the to help us. Who you got? Uh, Rob Miller. Tracking for seven years old, seven years, and he thinks that that deer's gut shot. As long as it's not just intestine, he said we're gonna find him. Dude, he's a freaking whopper. It's my biggest buck ever, I think. I think. Let's see. He's up there. If he ain't, he's up there. <laughs> Tanner, what is my problem, bro? Check that dude out. That thing is cool as crap. Oh, it is. Weston, I think you and that guy over there could have a dang antique ATV versus <laughs> MX. Hey, my 98 Suzuki ain't that old. It ain't older than me yet. I love that 98 though. Well, I got her on there. She'll crawl. When the nine point came up underneath that, you know, they come up underneath the branch and kind of get up underneath of it and come out into the open. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, there he is. And I was like, that's just the nine point. I'm like, that deer is freaking huge. Like, I'm about to shoot this deer if you don't come in. And then I see the nine point look behind him. And I see down the, through the thick stuff, I just see this big, darker looking rack. The, the nine point's like blonde velvet. Yeah. And I seen the other darker deer. I said, man, that's that, that's that wide eight or that other 10. So they usually, he usually comes in last. The day they came in just the nine and just the 10, the other two bucks didn't come in. And when he stepped out, dude, I knew. I was like, oh my gosh. I like, was freaking out, dude. <laughs> I was in a perfect tree using my climber again. Never even knew I was there. Had deer walk underneath of me. All kinds of stuff. Do you think it's a deer that a dog will find? Well, so a dog, a dog's favorite thing to hear is gut shot. Oh, that's what it's for that guy said. Yeah, guy they'll said. find. He the said thing even is, rain don't you, hurt it. If you double lung it, they may, if you double lung it, you're not calling them. If you heart shot it, you're not calling them. Yeah. Other than that, gut shot is the best. Best the scenario. Best highest odds for a dog. Yeah. What are you doing there, buddy? Early enough for y'all? Yep. I guess you cross, bro. I think we got the right man for the job. I just hope I did my part. It's a fatal hit. I hope Mother Nature didn't screw us. It rained for hours. Yeah, freaking yellow jacket stung me right on the hand. Shoot the biggest buck of my life, make a bad shot, and then Mother Nature pours on us for four, five, six, seven hours, half the time that we waited. We're walking back up to where we started. Weston thinks that he saw a deer circling back that he thought was that other buck. And then we got to thinking about it and talking to 
Mr. Rob and we smelled guts. I thought I did and Mr. Rob did walking in. And then Weston's saying that maybe that deer that he saw circling back could have been the one he shot. So, you know, I asked him, was he acting like alert or nervous? Like it was the other deer coming back to check it out? He said, no, he's walking with his tail down. I'm like, well, shoot. That could be your deer hurt then. And then, gonna find out, Sarge, the dog, tried to go that way to begin with. And we, he pulled him off thinking that, you know, it wasn't, wasn't the, the right way. So, we're heading back now to go try that way. But, um, honestly, uh, just based on evidence, that seems more likely than anything else right now. So, probably been searching the total wrong area all morning. <laughs> just took getting all three of us together and talking about it to figure it out. But first thing this morning, we walked through and I was like, who farted? That's the weirdest smell of fart. They're like, nobody's like, nobody owned up to farting. I'm like, yeah, that could be that deer. But then, you know, we figured we'd go up here and see what the dog was gonna do. So anyway. We're here now letting the dogs get a break and uh, taking a break ourselves. We're gonna regroup and check out some more areas, I guess. Big old buck. He's kind of walking weird. Was he not walking weird? He looked tall. We're standing here and this freaking big old buck steps out of this tree line over here. He's all hunched up looking. I couldn't get the camera up on him in time. But I mean a big old buck. Weston, that deer was not walking like a normal deer. He was... We're standing over there at the house like all but gave up and I seen this deer, big buck, pop out on the edge of this field and look hunched up. So we waited like two more hours and we're going in here now just to see, but the dogs- It looked like him. It, it looked like him. The dogs kind of hit on the scent like they thought they smelled something. Like so him. I don't know, we're about to go in the woods now and see. I'm gonna let Mr. Rob go a little bit ahead of us and uh, see what happens. I don't know where, Spirits are kind of low, but I'm telling you, that deer looked like he was hunched up. He looked, he looked like he was walking funny, and his rack looked similar. I've been watching this farm all year, and out of all the deer I got on camera, it looked like this buck. Is it a big track? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Spread out real wide. Come on. He's down right here. Come on, baby. <laughs> Woo! Just Whoa. inside the freaking woods. Don't talk about Sarge. Don't talk about Sarge. Let's go, dude. Dude. Awesome. dude. Oh my god, he's a monster. Monster. Oh. Man, what a freaking morning. Oh, it all paid off. What are the freaking odds of the way that played out, dude? I have no clue, bro. We're literally like probably 500 yards from where you shot him. No, look, nowhere near here. He's still alive? No, no, they're moving him. That is oh. insane, dude. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, oh, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. Got so lucky, but so good, dude. <laughs> what the Dang fuck? It. You spotted him, brother. Dude, what? You not brought that dog over here, bro. There's no way, dude. We're four or five hundred freaking yards from where we ever even looked. Oh my god. What a deer. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what to say. What a perfect symmetrical rack. Freaking what a beautiful. Hunt. It all came together the way I wanted it to. And then after this bad shot I made, I was not everybody can imagine I was tore up all night long. It poured the rain from about nine or 10 till four or five in the morning. And I mean poured. And Sarge was still on the track. We had to make a couple different uh, turns, a couple different uh, couple different trails we took, but it felt like he was on something. And then we lost it. And we think it's where it was in the open where the rain hit so hard last night, the leaves and all the thickness didn't keep, didn't keep the scent in. So we almost all but gave up. We came back, wanted to fly the drone around, check the bean fields. And Tanner just happened to look over and see this monster walking in the edge of the beans. And when I seen the deer after he pointed it out, the only rack I can think of on the whole farm that I knew of was this deer. And everybody thought he looked like he was walking hunched up. We just had a 
good feeling that it could have been him. So we got the dogs and we came over to this field edge and Rob went in and Sarge found him right away. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. I'm lost for words, guys. Dude, that's insane, isn't it? <laughs> that's why we do it though, guys. I love it. I've done this since I was 11 years old and there ain't nothing that gets me more fired up than hunting these big white tail. And when it all comes together and after you have to work hard and I know it's a crazy story, but man, it makes it even better now we found him. Oh my goodness, what a deer. Say he's not real wide, but man, he's got everything else. Yes, he does. He is a pig. Oh, he was the most mature deer that I had on camera on this farm this year too, so that made it even better. I try to always target a, the oldest deer that I can, but honestly, this deer was so pretty. He was, he's been on my radar since I first seen him. Thank you, dear Lord, for letting us find this deer. Thank you for stepping out and letting Tanner see you. I don't know if I've done enough in my life to deserve the blessings he just gave me, but I think I'm gonna try to make up for it. Yeah. You can go from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs, but honestly, it all wouldn't mean nothing if you didn't have your friends around with you. you know, I've made friends out of the landowner now, and Bingo. I've made good friends out of Rob and his son. Me and Tanner's been friends now for a few years, but if I was here by myself, I would be ecstatic, but it would not mean the same as being yeah. with you guys. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to know that. I wish my dad was here. It's the only thing I wish I wish my dad would have been here. Me and him used to do a lot of hunting together. Now that he's gotten older, he takes care of the farm and I'm the one traveling around hunting all the time. And we need to I need to change that some too. Hey, Come here, made, Bubba. Made the Come here. Sure. You were the man. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy you some treats. He's, he's splint right now. He's oh, exhausted. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. What do you need me to do, Sarge? I'll give you a massage. Give me a water bottle out, bud. Hey, I got you. He's literally got spots on his back. Dude. I see that. There's little white spots. I've seen that back home once or twice. That is the biggest fawn I've ever seen. <laughs> the biggest fawn. That's the biggest year I've ever seen in my life. I shot the oldest deer in the floor. <laughs> y'all comment below whose four-wheeler y'all think is older out of mine. My red one in Weston's. <laughs> I don't know. This is nice. His might be nicer. <laughs> This freaking four-wheeler keeps cutting off. A little it's cold natured. Stick is crap in here, but we dropped a pin on Onyx on the deer, so we ain't gonna have no trouble finding him. Just I think he's just right over here. Just crashing through this stuff, but it says we're 42 yards from him, but we couldn't see him for a million dollars. So. No, heck no. We'll probably, see. Probably couldn't even find him again. Did you make it close? Two, three. Yeah. You ain't never gonna catch Weston without 53 bungee straps ready to go, son. Right, baby. You may want to back that one up. You don't want to cinch it down on the cape. He looks big as crap from this angle. What do you mean, he is big as crap? I'm just saying it's a good angle. <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaking happy for you, bro. Yeah, exactly what he said. Eagle eye. That's, that was pretty much dude. pure luck, dude. Oh, yeah. A couple seconds and you, thank God you glimpsed him. Literally just pure luck, or God, or whatever. Yeah, a little bit of everything, a little bit of all. Man, that, that seems as much like a miracle as anything i ever seen deer hunting, that's for sure. Got an yeah. injury to his leg. I bet he got poked barbed wire, fence, Maybe. stick. Yeah, yeah fence or stick. Hard to even say. Caught the 